Hey, this is Don Archer from the Toad Channel. Thanks for watching. Due to the overwhelming positive response to the profanity video. Uh, no, 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 no. Those were negative comments, and uh, you deleted them all. Oh, yeah. Uh, disregard. Just check out this show here. Okay, what we're gonna attempt to do is recreate what I saw in Gordy Marie's YouTube video where he used two seat belts to recover a vehicle off of a guardrail. Although this one is on the other side of, it looks like about a four foot wall. We have no idea how it got down there. Uh, or it could be because Rick pushed it off and into my fence. Let's roll. What the heck are you guys doing? Ugh. Not the fence! Ah! The fence. This car weighs about 3,000 pounds approximately, and the boom fully extended is rated for 4,000 pounds, so we should be okay. On doing? The, yeah, hooking on that. Okay, That's now, where it was. Now this one's already tight, but, that one's it. but you're talking about that you yank it hard to get it tight, put it on there, the pressure on. You get it tight, put pressure on. Put pressure on for a moment. Seem the dip. I guess that don't work. Our first attempt at this only raise the rear end. Maybe it's because it's a two-door car instead of a four-door car. We're gonna put it back down and go to both front seat belts and see if that does any better. No, we're not getting what we wanted either on that one. Now what? Gordy Marie's idea of picking this up using both of those seat belts, and we failed at it because this is just a two-door car. Kept listening to the to the engine there, you know, it weighs more in the front than it does in the back. So what we're gonna do now, so that you guys don't have to see a video that only sees us fail. Nobody wants to see that. No, nobody, nobody wants to see that. We're going to recover this vehicle. We're assuming that this vehicle just ran off of this wall, it's about a four foot wall, and we're going to use a slingshot method to pull the thing back up onto the pavement above. And we could easily just jerk it up and scratch the underneath. We're going to use a couple of recovery chains, small J hooks, Mini J's on the double welded, and I know you guys have seen this car before, the double welded holes behind the front wheels. Show them what you got. Soft strap with a Mini J. It's going underneath on that double weld. Is that where you're putting it? Now let it off, there you go. And one more time. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Toad Channel!